Hey guys, this is Oliver from Spitfire Audio with another in action for BT Phobos. On this one, we're going to be looking at creating your own sounds, melodic and rhythmic sounds in this one. So if you go into factory presets, we can see that we sorted them rhythmic, hybrid, melodic, rhythmic, what we'll be doing today in this video, harmonic and melodic and atonal. Your composition needs a little bit of power, needs uh, some cool loops, some distorted loops, etc. Or you just want to create kind of your own uh, sounds, unique sounds, then uh, this one is definitely for you. So I just kind of was playing around just before I started the video and I uh, kind of created this. <laughs> kind of this sound it kind of sounds complicated and really cool but in in reality it's it's just really simple to make it so i'm just going to take you through this one and then i'll i'll be making a new one uh, from the spot i'll just explain you a little bit under the hood how the synth works so if we just mute everything and just kind of the first sound which is this one it's really kind of a simple loop uh, then i'm feeding it a little bit into this convolver here so I'm giving a pitch so I can actually play chords with this uh, loop. If I don't uh, uh, wish to use the loop, I just turn the, uh, the dry signal down, yes. And then I just have this pad with the rhythm of the, of the loop. It's pretty cool. I've tweaked here uh, the ADSR uh, controls. I've pitched it up two octaves. So without it, it would be like this. But within my whole loop, I kind of like having this a little bit higher. Then I've added uh, number two here. So I'm just going to mute the other two. So what I've done here, I've, uh, I went into the uh, controls and I just Put, simply put on a low pass filter without it be it's really cool these these high sounds but for my uh, constellation for this preset or this sound i wish to only hear kind of the pulsing bass on the bottom and here as well i'm convolving this with this sound So I'm giving a pitch uh, to, to my beat, really low here, and pretty cool. And then my third sound is this one. So I'm a little bit of distortion or kind of like a, a glitch effect in there. So I've changed my gate uh, settings here, the threshold of the gate. put a little bit of high pass filter and within the whole kind of uh, preset and within all these sounds it's, it, it sounds quite cool and then number four here I've added this kind of nervous kick uh, which wouldn't have been that high of course the kick isn't that high uh, but again I've pitched it up an octave without this like this but uh, from in my previous uh, sources here I've got already on the low end covered now I'm going to unmute everything and just play. Really cool stuff is I can record it and then let me actually just record this uh, short sequence and demonstrate it to you how you can automate uh, the whole thing. So I've got this and then I'm going to put this into latch here and what I can then do is uh, what I actually did just before uh, bring in the sounds kind of gradually and it will uh, write it down as an automation Ah, 
and so on. So this is just an example. I, I would probably tweak the other sounds, come in and out, uh, depending on the cue or the track I want to write. So uh, now I'm just going to go back uh, onto my default states here, deleting all the sounds, and I'm just going to do an example uh, of how to make a preset in a uh, melodic and rhythmic style or another preset. So how I sometimes do it, I go onto this... Um, uh, waves here, wave, and uh, click Alt, and then it loads just any kind of random loop. If I cl um, shift click on wave, it loads a pad. So let's just try a couple, see where we can get a good one. I want to one kind of a low one, um, slow pulsing, or if I actually have such a clear idea, I might go in here, BT loops, dark, electronic. rhythm and then I can alt click on one of the sounds here that's kind of cool and then so I've got this here and now I'm gonna uh, actually only send the wet signal and I'm gonna find a really cool um, convolver so here I'm gonna uh, shift click on wave this one. So again here that my source sound is quite low with this low kick so I kind of probably want to pitch shift this up. So I like this a lot, this is cool. So I'm gonna get my initial uh, beats up again. A little bit less of the wet signal. Maybe I want, uh, I don't want these high noises. It's kind of this. Tweak a little bit the attack here. Uh, sustain. Cool, I'm happy with that. Um, let me just find uh, another one here, a loop, broken, something a bit more messed up and a bit weird, maybe. weird and cool. So I'm gonna leave out the low end because I've got that already in my first sound. See how that sounds all together. I like that. Again here I'm gonna try and find a nice convolver for this. I'm gonna use this time I'm going to go and try to uh, find one in here. Uh, let's say tonal, uh, something bright, maybe coral. Do this. Oh, I like that. That's brilliant. Again, I'm going to pitch this up. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to map this to my uh, LFO. So I'm going to just set my LFO A to triangle. Maybe I have fourth our transition here. And then go to mappings here. And I set my LFO A to panning, uh, pan position. Yeah, I like that. Super cool. Really cool. Okay. So 
so you can hear it's, it it kind of goes in the same rhythm as my source sound and let's get these Really cool, I like that sound a lot. It's kind of very trancey uh, sounds here. So I'm now gonna try and find kind of a, a bit of a strange sound I want up here in, in the higher region. Uh, loads of sounds. Uh, maybe go to effects. Something kind of broken again. Let's try it. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, take the lows out as well. So for example, this one, I might just map up to here and have my first two sounds only playing in the no lower register so if I play here and then I want to add my third sound so of course it's a little loud now for my taste actually I want this one back as well really really cool it's a lot of fun uh, and the possibilities are endless as you can see um, so I'm gonna load a last one here let's see where we've got some hi hats hats there we go hats so these are kind of cool filter it out a little bit um, I only want them up here with my third sound Where we can convolve the hi hats with something here as well. Let's see. Okay, that's brilliant. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this sound and uh, open the gate a bit, or change the, uh, the threshold of the gate. it's not permanent I can maybe also map it to LFO A or let's do a different LFO uh, let's do B and then we change this one to a pulse So, kind of cool. So the whole thing in the end would sound like this.
So it's pretty cool, a lot of fun, and it's very versatile. So you can see here I put uh, my notes into into the pedal, and then I can just go onto the synth and change it. And equally, you can just uh, record that as well. Again, uh, it writes the automation down, even if you move the packs here. And here, uh, what happened is I, I moved number two, I moved that sound down here, and remember, uh, we've mapped this sound to the LFO, so you can actually hear that this sound, uh, if, we, if we just solo it, it's being convolved with the convolver Y. to toes, that's why there's no sound. It's absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool stuff. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, staying with me. I hope you enjoyed it and check out the other videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.